Hello everyone, Pally Tub here. Welcome back to Crab Champions. First of all, thank you guys for the very warm reception on the first video where we showcased a bit about the game. This was the last game I played prior to going to visit my family, and it was the first game I played when I got back. I'm kind of obsessed with it, so I'm glad you guys liked it too. I would love to show more of it on the channel. Uh, since that last episode, I have unlocked every single weapon in the game, and I thought we could go through at least a few of them. And if you guys like the videos, like literally enjoy them and press the like button, we'll keep this series going. So first up, we're going to play with the sniper rifle. I think it's one of the best in the game. I've had some ridiculous builds, especially in multiplayer, where I'm doing millions of damage with a single shot. But I don't know if we're going to get that far today. We shall see. Now, because I have all of the weapons, I can actually use the keys that I get from our runs to get various buffs here. Sh shots bring down a lightning strike that damage and shock nearby enemies. So we're starting today's runoff with a legendary mod with a 10 second cooldown. That's what it does right there. That huge explosion. Remember, if you guys enjoy today's video, press that like button and let's get today's run underway. Our goal is to reach level 30 and take down the first boss. And in single player, it is a bit harder to complete runs I have found because every single enemy that spawned here, what did they want to do? Well, they wanted to kill me. I was the only target. They're going to come directly for me. Whereas in multiplayer, a, a lot of times your friends can get aggro and kite stuff around and you may not he even have to interface with running away from stuff. Like you can go fully offensive and just gun them down. Uh, shots deal more damage when hip firing, time bolt or damage combo. A combo is 25 kills without taking damage. I do find that the sniper is pretty good at that in general, but I don't think I'll be good at that in single player. So trick shot, that means I'm gonna be hip firing and we're gonna go for a damage chest after this as well. There are some very good mods for the sniper rifle. They work really well with like a shotgun or the rocket launcher as well, where if you kill an enemy, you get more damage for every 10 kills or when, I, when you one shot an enemy or when you one shot an enemy, you get more HP back. And if I can get either of those at the start of this run and really start to rack up these one shots, that can add up really, really fast. We have Sonic Boom reloading deals damage, danger close or damage combo. Um, I'll take damage combo for now because we are on a level two combo. I'm also going to take the random chest over the elemental. Uh, generally speaking, my fire rate is pretty low, so the chance of me necessarily getting an elemental shot is also on the lower side. Unless individual weapons have scaling that I'm not aware of. They did recently change how that elemental damage works. We had an elite crab trying to stand off against us, but those shots are too strong, and he gets taken down. Another trick shot or a poison aura. Poison Aura is really good versus bosses, but I don't play close enough for that to really take effect. I'm also going to take the random chest with the flawless option. We have not taken damage throughout this run so far. And if we can keep that going, we have a chance of being rewarded quite well. Our reload speed is pretty low, right, pretty uh, slow right now, so I'm going to try to reload every chance I get when we get a little bit of downtime. But I do not have to stay up here on this plateau. We can go down to a lower level if we need to. Uh, damn, we took damage there, so the Flawless is out. I saw that rock coming. I just wasn't able to jump in time. Big elemental explosion. I like that a lot. I really like our, our legendary that we started with. That's huge. Now, on stream, I typically say that a full run is going to level 60. I feel like you have to loop at least once to really get your power going. But for the purposes of today's video, we're going to try to kill the last boss, and that's going to be our main motivator. Uh, I'm going to take the Bronze Heart for some increased HP. That's going to bring our maximum HP up to 150. It's also going to heal me for a little bit, which isn't that big of a deal, because every time you go to Tony's shop, there's always Tony's Garden, which has some healing inside of it. So we can get to full HP, no problem. Random chest hidden over here. It's an imploding grenade. I'm going to go ahead and sell that to hopefully reinvest it over here. Damage combo, accelerating shot, or Bronze Heart. I'm going to Bronze Heart and then uh, re-roll. 
Driller could be good. Big shots, okay. We can reroll again. Maybe I want to do that. Maybe I, maybe I do want to do that. I could also consider selling this damage combo if we don't like it. Hmm. Deal more damage when aiming. That's counterintuitive to what we have been doing. This is my last chance at this. It's another damage combo, or we can get more damage while hip firing. We'll do that. If I salvage this, it's only worth 33, so I can't buy anything else with it, so we'll hang on to it now. That's been one of the most interesting parts of this game to me is like the inventory management actually matters a lot once you get really deep into a run because you can only hold so many perks and so many weapon mods. So you have to eventually kind of refine your build to only be what you need. Trim the fat a little bit as you go. Elite Crab has spawned in. I broke the rock next to him trying to deal a lot of damage. Those puffer fish were pretty angry though. Two more elites here on the beach as well. Now these elites basically have all the same moves that I do. They can jump, uh, they can slide, they have shotguns or this one in particular is using a sniper like I am. Luckily for me, his bullets are a little slower, so it does give me time to hopefully get out of the way. Now, this was a challenge level. We get a double chest if we complete it, but there's also homing thorns from every single one of these enemies that potentially could have done a lot of damage to us. Oh, a sharpshooter increased critical hit chance sounds excellent for a sniper build. Crit grenade. A uh, streak shot could be very good as well. Basically, every shot we hit in a row increases our critical hit chance. I'm going to go for the health here. We have 200 right now, but I don't have any way of healing. And I am very much of the opinion... Ooh, our damage is actually getting a little low. I did zoom in, though. That was my fault. You can see the difference between our zoomed in and our hip fire. I can't even one-shot one of these little crabs if I actually zoom in now, thanks to our upgrades. But that's okay. Hip fire's fine. I can make that work. It looks like we have another elite crab on the other side with a sniper again. These guys are a menace and they're hitting their shots this time. I've taken a couple hits already. Looks like they are the only enemies remaining. That lightning strike coming in clutch, taking the two of them down together. And there we go. The hip fire sniper continues. Uh, 28 crystals for a 25% chance for a random pickup is very, very low. Silver armor, scavenger, or endurance. Health after each island. This is going to... Is that max HP? Did it say heal? Heal 50 health after each island. So there we go. That's our healing. Do I want to sacrifice my health, though? We would go back down to 100 if we fail. I don't think... I want to. We're going to need damage if we want the run to continue smoothly. Lightning Grub spawning in, get taken down instantly. I'm going to try to hold the boardwalk here. Just hip fire my way to victory, potentially. The curvature of the boardwalk isn't doing any favors, though. That lightning strike clearing out that entire area is pretty excellent. Yeah, maybe I can do this. 44 more seconds to hold the boardwalk. A lot of little crabs coming our way. Man, I wish I had assassin right now. That elite is going to convince me to move, but not before I break a few rocks on my way out. If I can get enemies clumped up by this one, that could be another good explosion as well. Ooh, hey, bud. Ooh, slow down. Perfect. 20 seconds left on this survival. We'll just continue to kite around. We're up to $400, which isn't bad at all. The more enemies I kill here, the more money I get. That's one of the beauties of survival. You can play really aggressive and come out quite profitable because the density is so high on these stages. Well, three, two, one, we did it. Round eight has been cleared. We healed up 50 HP. That is very noticeable, actually. Do we get healed just going to the shop as well? Or is that like a, um, does that not count as an active level? Damage combo, we already have clip shot. Shots deal more damage for each bolt remaining in the clip. Shots deal more damage when moving spiral patterns. I guess I'll keep the damage combo. We have level two of that now, and we're on a two combo. I don't know how long that'll last, but for the time being, it seems okay. Max health after clearing each island. Shots deal more damage when hip firing. We'll go for that as well. Streamer loot would have been really good. It would have been really good. I might still do it. This means every chest we open has a chance of having higher quality loot inside. Meaning, 
we can get big damage without doing anything extra. It's the same way we would get little damage. Uh, we're on stage 10. This means it's the first boss. Uh, it is an elite fire crab. The lightning call down didn't really even do that much damage. I'm going to have to play on the opposite side of the arena from this guy, I think. And we're going to have to continue hip firing to the best of our ability as well. Now, this guy has a shotgun, so that spread is deadly. And you can see he's not being shy about gap closing onto me after firing off those huge shots we only have one hp now is it going to be enough if he jumps after me right now it will not be let me continue to back up here one more shot two more shots three more shots oh, look at that spread whoa okay that's fine three chests is gonna be our reward and we have juiced bonus crystals though is what you have to take bonus crystals get you ahead of the curve of the game I really should have waited there and gotten a cough drop. <laughs> my first recording of the day and my voice is already giving out. That's just the hype that Crab Champions brings to me. I can't avoid it. Oh, okay. So with bonus crystals, every enemy that we kill, I don't know if it's a percentage thing, drop 50% more crystals. That means every kill is 50% more valuable including the ones on like survival levels where the density is through the roof. Shots deal more damage, but fire rate is reduced. A melee damage or deal constant damage to nearby enemies. Uh, I'm gonna go with heavy hitter. We can augment our fire rate later if we need to. And I'm also gonna go for another economy chest. I pretty much always take economy chests if they are an option we have skeletons already spawning that's very early in the level and we're taking hits from behind as well from one that is recently unearthed but as you can see that fire rate decrease has done pretty good for our overall damage output now these skulls do have a bit of armor when they spawn which is why they are extra durable but when we hit fire we take them down pretty quick. Uh, finishing move would be critical hits. Deal, deal, um, generate more money if we kill an enemy. Uh, enemies eliminated at close range generate more. I'm just gonna take the crystal bundle for now and take yet another economy chest. Wow, this is really lucky. So many back to back. Uh, this is the cave level, so we can just go right over here and hold this down. We don't even have to kite anywhere. As soon as I see some legs moving underneath this walkway, we just start to shoot. And with that increased lightning that we picked up at the beginning of the run, uh, that could really clear out an area. Now those slugs do explosions when they die. So if they get too close, that is a problem. <laughs> I love the cave, <laughs> especially in four player. Like when we get the cave level, it's just floods of enemies burrowing into that spot. Um. Money shot, gain crystals when damaging enemies. Actually, probably isn't that good for the sniper rifle. Uh, because we're not dealing back-to-back um, -back hits, we're not sending a volley of shots at enemies, I don't think this will pay off super well. I'm going to take the crystal bundle again because we're heading towards a shop, and we also have a flawless speed chest here that I'm very interested in. It is a horde. We have 40 seconds to stay alive. But this is a pretty big map too. So kiting around the outside is typically no big deal at all. If a few of these slugs get in our way, that might be a problem. But so far, I think we're okay. Hey, down in the comments, can you guys let me know if you've seen any mods for this game just yet? As you all know, I'm a huge fan of games like Risk of Rain, but I think one of the things that keeps me coming back to it is the modding community. And I've had a little poke around see if there was anything and i wasn't able to find too much i'm hoping that changes here in the near future as this game has been received like very very well from what i can tell it's definitely my most requested game on twitch right now piercing shot shots pierce through enemies we already have that by default with our sniper rifle i don't think we need that fire rate increased for a short time after eliminating an enemy could completely nullify the heavy hitter uh reload speed re or fire rate reduction so if we get adrenaline and just kill one enemy 
our fire rate will increase quite a lot. I think knockback shots one of the worst upgrades in the game. Shots are faster and less affected by gravity or... Sure, that's fine. Uh, we do have a travel time on our bullet, even though it's pretty quick. That just makes it a bit quicker. Now, we've been investing heavily into our economy to get ready for this shop. I see bonus crystals from eliminating enemies and two silver hearts that increase my maximum HP. Big shots deal more damage, but move slowly. Limited loot, more crystals drop when eliminating enemies, but the amount of loot choices in chests is reduced. Um, That would be really good. Potentially. There's also a way to counteract the negative of that with another pickup called Big Chest. I think our economy's fine. I'm gonna increase my HP one more time. We're at 550 HP, which is a lot, especially this early in a run. Uh, I'm gonna go for the double upgrade chest over here. Now the enemies will be firing spikes at us. Actually, I think they'll be forming under their feet when they die. And because we're so long range, I don't think that even matters for us. I'll, we just have to scurry away from that. Now, on the ice biome, these crabs that we are fighting do have a frost debuff. So if they get too close, they can freeze us in place. So it is very important that we stay ahead of the pack. This density is looking like a survival level, is it not? There's a lot of enemies coming towards us. Uh, missed shot on the left. He's taken down. That reload takes a while. But the fire rate is really good after we get that initial kill. That upgrade was huge for us. Ooh, that spike hit me. I had to say something. I believe this is our last friend here, and stage 16 has been cleared. Inside of our chest, we have damage combo or fast shots. Um, fast shot just means that my damage is basically instantaneous now. Even at a very respectable range, like everything I just hip fired there, our bullet was instantly there. There was no delay. Where you could see the delay to get back there because that elemental explosion was so delayed. So the more of these we get, the more reliable our hip fire damage is going to be. Shots deal more damage, but fire rate is reduced. I'll go ahead and take that again. I think we have plenty of fire rate after that uh, one single upgrade we got earlier. This is yet another arena for an upgrade chest. It could be pretty good to me. It could come up with nothing. I'm hoping RNG is in my favor today. So far, this damage is, uh, this run is going really well. Our damage has always been ahead of the curve. You know you're in trouble with the sniper rifle when you can't get these one shots on the little trash. And the fact that we're one shotting the slugs means that we're in a great spot. Now, if I take an extra second to just make sure I'm lining up multiple kills, we can be a bit more efficient. But with this elite spawning in in front of me, I'm gonna go ahead and give him a bit more space. Oh, I don't need a shotgun like that. I don't need that here. Uh, slugs chasing me could potentially kill off that elite if I get that explosion right, but I don't think it was enough damage. <laughs> that was a pretty good hit. There we go. One elite down. Keep kiting. Huge lightning explosion. One more elite. Then our troubles are gone. I just need to kite this way away from away away from the ice crabs. Woo! Okay, it's getting a little spicier. Things are getting a little harder. Maybe I could use a bit more fire rate. If we see a speed chest, I'll try to go for that. We have health and mystery. Trick shot, hip fire damage going through the roof. Fantastic. I don't need any more health. Our healing's okay. Our maximum HP is okay. So I'll take pretty much anything else over that. It's one of the pillars I think we need. Like you need to get a good defense. You need to get a good economy and you need to get good damage. Those are like the three pillars you need to have a very successful run, I would say. But one of those pillars is already done. Like our health's great. Let's look for other stuff now. Good explosion on that slug. Uh, we have 40 more seconds to stay alive, though, and this density is only going to continue to increase. Now, rather than kiting across the whole level here, I'm going to try to play to this quadrant, like just this corner. That way, I'm luring all of the enemies to one spot. So it doesn't really matter where they spawn. They'll be making their way over here. 
Whereas like if I was running around the entire map, potentially these guys could never catch up to me, right? I want to make sure I'm getting their money for my bank account. I need it. I'm the one who's going to spend it. We're in the final five seconds now and a couple more hits is all I'm going to be able to do. And we have a very respectable 3000 credits to our name right now. Let me see what this totem is before I leave. Get a random legendary, but lose 50% of your max health. Honestly, that's probably worth it. I would probably do that, especially in, in multiplayer. Oh, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do it right now. So we just got a silver heart in the chest. That means it's going to increase our max HP. We just went down to 275, but got critical blades. Critical hits spawn deadly blades that seek out enemies. Now I know that I need more crit as well, but that silver heart means I only lost about 125 HP rather than, you know, whatever it was before. Another silver heart would bring me back up to a pretty healthy spot. Streamer loot level two is worth picking up as well, though. Anything good. Regenerator, big hearts, grenadier, and gold coating. Nothing I was super interested in. It is very odd to see the shop this small, by the way. Usually our shop extends most of that area in four player. Well, this is the boss, and I already jumped off the map please hold i mean it was it was tactical to avoid those projectiles of course of course well i actually think i can just hang out right here <gasps> really really that won't work i think it will work if i just like literally peak line of sight this it's still hitting me the explosions are still hitting me okay Okay, fine, I'll move. Fine, you win. Uh, our critical hits are not happening too often, but when they do, those critical blades should shred. Uh, I don't think I got one this entire magazine. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna need to up our crit chance. <laughs> if we wanna have big damage. That lightning coming down does help. Not a lot. Oh, maybe that's what hit me. It was just an AOE. Now, even with the sacrificing of our health earlier, you can see that we are still adequately tanky enough for this boss. Perfect. Taken down. What do you got for me? Spark shot. Damage shot or spark explosion. I'm going to go for shots deal more damage. Flat damage is so good for us. Also, silver armor is going to protect our HP a little bit. Typically, I think armor is not very good in the early game. It seems as though armor scales with your HP quite a lot. Oh, I'm in lava. Oh, hold on. Uh, what I mean by that is like, if you have 100 HP, I think each of your armor plates is only gonna be 20 health. But because I have 500 HP, each of my armor plates would theoretically be 100 health, right? If I understand the scaling of it correctly. Uh, which means I usually don't focus on armor plates until I have a hefty amount of HP, but then they become really, really valuable. Uh, I'm going to take Sniper Turret and just not think about it. It'll spawn in and deal damage for us. I'm also going to go for the damage chest here, if I may. Now, the third loop, or I guess the, the third area, which is what we're on right now, takes us back to the original islands. We're not in the frosty area anymore. But now these islands, of course, have been overtaken by lava. Thanks, Global Warming. Thanks for doing that. Uh, which is why this may look familiar, but it's not a safe place like it used to be. Uh, Island 22 has been cleared. What do we have? <gasps> okay, that's what I like to call a double tap. I like got to slow that down a little bit. Slow that down a little bit. I didn't see what kind of portal I took here. I just pressed E on that chest twice. You hate to see it. Now that could ruin our run, but I think we're in such a good position that it won't be a problem at all. Was that fire stuff? Was that the homing axes? Uh, we did get some additional loot. It is a silver heart bringing our HP up to levels we have not seen before. It was. Uh, we could take high voltage. Uh, Elemental is not really good for me, but high voltage would play into the lightning strike that we got earlier. 
just giving more of that lightning debuff. It's not like that happens super often. I'm also gonna go for the upgrade chest here. This is a horde, so we need to survive for 44 seconds. Generally speaking, you should be breaking all of the rocks around the level as well. I'm gonna hang out here with our sniper turret because those rocks, even if you don't have driller, have a chance of spawning additional loot every single time. And that additional loot, think about it. If you get one extra item, that's what you get for clearing every level, right? So the fact that we got additional loot last level means I basically cleared an extra stage uh, if you're thinking about item economy, which is crazy. Like, that's so good. Uh, our sniper turret here doesn't seem particularly great. I have decided that those indeed are the critical blades heading out towards enemies, and that seems really, really good. Uh, very pleased with that pickup. 6,540 crystals right now. Our economy is looking really good, and streamer loot's gonna make it look better. Oh, we get streamer loot and then get blues here. How does that work? Uh, I don't want any of these really the damage combo could be okay but i'm getting hit too much and we don't have armor reducing incoming damage is always good silver heart knockback shots bad big chest is huge uh silver heart glue shot big shot or thorn shot. i'm a little short for thorn shot so here's what i'm gonna do I'm gonna take that sniper turret that we got earlier, if I can find it. I don't really like turrets. I'm gonna salvage that and then use that money for thorn shot. Now we're gonna fire uh, damage over time thorns along with our shot to help us take down enemies. Uh, theoretically, I could get big shot here as well. We already have the projectile speed increases. So we may not even notice it. And it would be a big damage increase. I'm gonna try it. We only have five levels left anyway. Let's continue. Damage chest, I just need flat damage. We don't need luck. We have nothing luck based other than, I guess, critical hit chance. Uh, it is possible, although I don't know how I did it, to get on top of these pillars here. I may have ridden an explosion up. Uh, here might work. Woo! Hold it! <laughs> no, just short. But basically, you can get on top of that pillar and none of the enemies can reach you. It seems really, really strong. I guess that is until these elite crabs come out with whatever kind of gun that is that just shot me into the corner and then spit me back out. Okay, this is getting pretty dangerous. We need to treat these enemies with respect. Hey, big explosion from that rock also gives us some bonus loot and it's a heart as well, which is going to be increasing our maximum HP. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. That hit hurt. 775, not bad at all. What's our bonus loot? Or what's our chest? What do we get? Uh, because we got bigger chests, we get a fourth option in every chest that we open up. And because we have streamer loot at level three as well, these should be significantly higher quality uh, pickups. We have steady shot deal more damage when aiming, but la we can't do that. Shot steal additional flat damage would be really good. I'm gonna do that. Then we have a double mystery where we're one hit. I don't wanna do that this late in the run. So I'm gonna do the health chest. Now I do typically really advocate for always getting the double chest, but my gun is not fast. I already one shot most enemies anyway. So going to a challenge area where I'm also one shot, but the enemies are as well, is a lot less appealing when I'm already one shotting everything without thinking about it. Ooh, holding the boardwalk really well, it looks like, actually. Can we make it happen? Oh, Rolly! I think I just held the boardwalk. Of course, that skeleton in the back might disagree, but his armor is shredded now. That fire crab never got close enough! Oh, wow, you are so tanky. Please don't shoot anything. Nope, nope, that's enough, thank you. Wait, that wasn't even the last enemy. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Stop it. <laughs> oh, we did take a lot of damage there. Nothing too bad. I, th I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Silver armor would be really good right now. So I'm gonna take it. Uh, flawless skill chest could be okay. 
I kind of feel like I want fire rate, but it is, it is a double chest after all. And because we just picked up those armor plates, I believe that helps my flawless streak. I have heard mixed reports on this, but this is what I think. I'm pretty sure that if I took damage right now, it would just take... Wow, that lightning explosion was good. It would just take some of my armor away. And then as long as my health doesn't move, I retain the flawless. But uh, again, I might be wrong on that. I might be wrong on that. Uh, either way, these crabs jumping in on me, trying to get in those melee strikes. We want to avoid those at all costs. There's also some kind of poison elite in the doorway. Our grenade's not dealing much damage right now, but that big lightning AOE does actually make up for it quite well. 3,000 damage to that skull. Nice, nice. No, no. No. We're good. We're good. 14 seconds. Dodge, no problem. We're getting the flawless. We're getting the double chest. I can do this. Oh, those rocks at the beginning will actually help out because every enemy is funneling through that doorway. No! I thought they got me. <laughs> oh, so I didn't get flawless, but the armor helped me retain my combo. So I still have a three combo, bigger chest. Here we go. Not that I need it. It's kind of the end of the run. Okay, that was actually very enlightening. That was good. We have a lot of money to spend, so let's try to spend it. Damage reduction seems great. Streamer loot, even though we're at the end and it doesn't matter. Valued customer of Fire Claws, Shockwave, or Spark Shot. I'll try Spark Shot. We already have a lightning chance. Uh, I'm going to take Silver Armor because we should be ending right here. And let's see how the final boss goes i've been streaming this game a ton by the way so if this looks interesting to you make sure you stop by our twitch i try to get a couple runs in every stream even if we're playing other games so i'll always make a little time for crab games but so, so much fun so this giant ant unfortunately has a lot of armor which is going to take me some time to break through that lightning is going to help you can see i'm trying to line of sight as much of this as i can and it's not like dealing damage to the legs does less damage than the body. So I can just shoot at whatever is revealed and then profit. And as you can see, the majority of the ants projectiles are getting stuck against these pillars while I'm basically perfectly safe here. And we didn't even have to do anything fancy for this. It's like we don't need a lot of movement speed. But I don't believe that this boss is guaranteed to be here. So I kind of lucked out. My gun plays into it very favorably. We are almost through the armor now. That's a homing poison. That went around the pillar. Aren't you glad I picked up that armor now? His armor is down. That means we can start to chunk him. The damage is so low, though. Wait, there's the critical blades. I don't even think I need to line of sight any of this, to be honest with you. I think we could take it. But I do need to keep my combo up for the bonus damage. I can't have any of that falling off. We have a three combo right now. Some ads spawning in could be good as well. Let me try to take one of these down. Uh, we can in increase fire rate, right? Slightly. And it's already gone. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to kind of wait for this elite. We'll just move to the other side. Armor is almost gone. That was a huge explosion. That was a huge explosion. And the final shot takes down that terrifying boss oh he almost got us yes indeed if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you want to see more crab game i'll make that happen for you we also got our bonus keys over here for the next run but for now that's gonna do it we'll head back to the crab island and celebrate our victory thank you for being here i will hopefully see you again very soon